Hello everyone, this is Akai, and welcome back to some more World of Warships, and today we are taking a look at the Tier 5 Pan-Asian Destroyer, the Jin Wei, and I don't know how I feel about this ship. I will admit, uh, the few battles I've had with her, she's actually helped carry the team, however, I'm not a big fan, I don't think she really shines out. Uh, in any aspects as far as her uh, torpedoes or guns as you uh, clearly see uh, later on we are playing on neighbors we are up tiered there is a Sean Horse, New Mexico, Queen Elizabeth, New York, Conic Shores, Omaha, Shiratsu, Fushun, Nicholas, Musuki, and Jinwei. On the enemy team there's a Colorado, two Bayerns, New York, Julio Cesar, Fiji, Gali, Atsuki, Fujin, Kamikaze, and two Jin Ways. So, yeah, slightly up tiered. Um, I will have to say this was a very close battle. Very close, uh, to be certain. I don't want to spoil too, too much. So, we are going to start uh, pushing in towards B. And I will give a quick shout out to the captain of the Shiratsuyu. Uh, the captain that we're seeing right now. He does a fantastic job in this battle, as you will find out later on uh so we're gonna see how this ship goes um i'm not once again not a big fan of this ship but for some other reason i always seem to find myself in a position where i have to help carry uh the battle so enemy jinwei is spotted and as per usual with any pan-asian destroyer your torpedoes are entirely useless against any other destroyer so just rely on your guns now one major major thing about this ship is her load speed is outrageously horrendously terrible eight seconds eight seconds just to get your guns uh to open up uh the velocity on the shells is kind of bad as well uh they aren't as good as the Shenyong, uh in the regards that they do have more of a lofty arc and maybe it's due to the fact that this is once a british ship I don't know. That's actually a really good question. But uh, you don't feel like your shells go straight to target, kind of like how the Shenyang is. Uh, nice thing about it is the fact there are five main guns. The only other issue, I guess, I'm, I'm really picking on this ship. I don't really mean to, uh, is the placement on the guns. Uh, they are fairly central lined, as you can see here. Uh, the fourth turret has a major issue actually uh, coming forward, so you do have to provide a huge amount of broadside just to get that turret uh, to open up. Midline uh, turret goes pretty far forward, as you can see uh, with our indicators uh, where the guns are. So there is quite a bit of a degree that you do have to show just to provide uh, the fact that you can get all your guns, unless unless this occurs, where we have the Jinwei uh, starting to push out. Now, this team is interesting. First off, uh, Jinwei finally pops out, and we have his broadside, and we're going to try to focus him down as quickly as possible. Uh, do pop my smoke screen, and probably a very bad idea, honestly. Should have just um, kept going, because, well, probably could have got that kill, but fortunately we did not. Now, one nice thing about this smoke screen is it is active for 30 seconds, which is an insane amount of time uh so you can lay a long stream of smoke the only downside is is the smoke stream only lasts for about 70 seconds uh so not the longest uh laying smoke but at least you can lay a big chain of it uh enemy akatsuki is spotted is dropping toward torpedoes towards our friendly queen elizabeth and this is actually technically my second battle with the Jinwei, and you can tell I'm a little, little bad on judging how the guns act. Uh, they are very, very lofty. We do get a fire on the enemy Akatsuki, uh, which should burn for a little while. Does look like he is holding off on the damage repair, uh, just so he can get away, uh, just in case we get another fire on him. The uh, shells do have a 8% fire chance, which is actually really nice. We do get another fire. Look at that. Uh, unfortunately, that Akatsuki does get away. Uh, we are being currently spotted uh, by the enemy battleship. And turning circle radius on the Jinwei is pretty nice, 540 meters, and we do take an unfortunate hit uh, from a enemy ship. So we do lose uh, 2,000 points health off of our 
a helpful and the helpful on the ship's not too bad um this does have the upgraded hull and as well as uh the range so that's gonna be a little bit off from the stock but keep in mind um this ship will be a little bit less uh, tanky. I, I kind of almost feel like they're trying to go for a tanky build uh, because as far as I've seen every single time they generally have a more cha more health compared to the other enemy uh, other destroyers from other nations. Uh, now our team is at least even uh, which is definitely a good thing. Now torpedoes as you will see here they do have a very limited range, 6.4. This is uh, as far as you can go, and the really major downside is your detection, 6 kilometers uh, with the captain spec, obviously. Uh, so you cannot, cannot invisitor any enemy ships. Well, better yet, you cannot reliably, you do have to play a very dangerous game of getting in close to actually get your torpedoes to uh, get to target. Because Suki is obviously spotted, uh, do get another fire on him. Would like to take him out. We do have at least uh, friendly stores. I think that is trying to assist, but unfortunately, Asaka Suki does get away. And now it's time just to pull away as quickly as possible and lose detection. Now, the reason why I picked this battle and the reason why uh, this is going to be a very troublesome, <laughs> troublesome battle uh, is first off, we do have an AFK destroyer. Uh, but he's not going to be the only AFK. Now, obviously, you do see a lot of our ships moving around. Well, there is one ship you should keep an eye on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys kind of guess on what ship I am talking about. Now, the enemy Bayern is starting to push in, as well as the Fiji, and he is starting to turn in towards the island. And I am hoping to at least get a torpedo hit on this enemy Bayern. I think we just might get one. Uh, these torpedoes are pretty decent speed. Once fully upgraded, they do get around uh, 62 knots. We do cause a flooding on that by enemy Baron, but it does look like he does damage control on, but he's so incredibly low in health. He does go down to the uh, friendly Shiratsu's torpedoes. So once again, that is, I believe, actually the first kill uh, the Shiratsu does get. So very good job there. And finally, the Akasuki is uh, finally spotted. Do you have to be careful? There's still a Fiji within that smoke cloud and the Shiratsu does get the kill on the enemy Akatsuki. So, as far as what I've experienced with the Jinwei, um, I, I, I just, I feel like it's kind of a letdown, uh, from the Xinyang. Xinyang, I would say, is actually really decent tier 4. Um, may not be always the best thing in the world, but... I would say it's fairly decent. Now, unfortunately for us, this Fiji uh, would have actually taken these torpedoes. Had he uh, kept in that same position, I think we would have actually got the tor those torpedoes. Uh, so, very close to getting torpedo hits, but he is going to get away. Uh, Shiratsuyu is playing a very dangerous game right now with the enemy Fiji. And we do have an enemy battleship that is starting to push north. And I would like to get torpedoes off, but our torpedoes are on reload. Uh, the reload on the torpedoes is not too bad. It's around 70 seconds, I believe. Uh, so overall, not too bad. Uh, now we do have a friendly conic to the north of us. Let's see. Yeah, we do have a friendly conic. Let's see if he actually opens up. I'm actually kind of curious if he opens up. So right now our team is in the lead we do not have the uh base captures uh we are obviously down two base to their one or sorry we are one base capture to their two so we are at a deficit on points uh we are in the lead as far as ships uh but they've held on to a and b for such a long time that even with the loss of amount of ships they've earned uh they're still definitely within lead now this is where I really don't like the torpedoes of the Jinwei. Um, it just, you have to get so incredibly close to the enemy ship, and it's so very easy to slip uh, to be detected. But we just managed to do it, sitting right at six kilometers. 
and I'm actually kind of surprised we're not detected. So that's interesting to know. Uh, if you do have a ship that is uh, roughly at exactly six kilometers, you won't be detected. Uh, so the iron started actually reversing. So I do open up, hoping to scare him, and it looks like my bait has uh, started to occur. Let's see. He is starting to speed up. Torpedoes are inbound, and these torpedoes are pretty hard hitting. Uh, there we go. Nice. Two torpedoes and one dead Bayern. That is our first kill of the game, but he does get a final salvo off against the enemy shores, and we have lost a good ship there, a tier 7 ship. So right now, we are still in the lead as far as ships, uh, but we need to capture B. And we have two battleships facing off against three destroyers. Uh, make that one battleship facing off a few destroyers. And we have another battleship. We do have a Queen Elizabeth that is starting to push south, but he's going to have a little bit difficult time to try to claw us back. Uh, because once again, we do have a AFK destroyer. And soon we are going to have a AFK battleship. Yep. That little battleship there is going to be going into a 10 and sitting and parking. Entirely useless. <laughs> oh my word. And like I said, this is going to get pretty close uh, in the end. Uh, one one shout out is going to be the destroyer. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the AFK destroyer in a little bit. So right now we have to get back towards the uh, middle of the battle majority of the enemy team is down at the southwest corner of the map and well good thing about the Jin Wei is she's decently fast uh without engine boost she does get up to around 37 knots uh, with the engine boost she can make about 40 knots so that's decent uh not many cause a speed but at least can get you around the map now, Queen Elizabeth is in potential danger. There are, once again, three enemy destroyers still left alive on the team. And he's currently dealing with two battleships. And fortunately, we do have a Shiratsuyu. And that Shiratsuyu has spotted the enemy fusion and is opening up. Now, I'm just trying to get into a good position that I can try to assist the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be lucky. Because at least one enemy destroyer is spotted. I believe that is the uh, enemy Jinwei. Uh, does get torpedoes off. But fortunately they die way before uh, they even reach target. So he is safe for the moment. Uh, but obviously <laughs> there's a Kamikaze. So yeah. Things aren't looking good. Shiatsu does get the fusion. And we are getting hopefully hoping to get a torpedo drop off at the enemy New York. Uh, we'll see how things uh, work out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up on the Kamikaze. Once again, the guns aren't the greatest thing in the world. Uh, Kamikaze is slowing up, smoking up, and has dropped torpedoes on our Queen Elizabeth. And unfortunately, there goes our battleship. And essentially, in this battle, it's two versus four. Uh, things are not looking good, but fortunately for us, uh, we do have a smoke screen available and we are going to be using that and we're going to be using this a lot. And one nice thing about the Pan-Asian Destroyers is the fact that their tor their smoke screen is, I, I would say it's it's reliable. Uh, New York does go down to the enemy or friendly Shiatsuyu. Uh, that is, I believe, his fourth kill of the game. Uh, something like that. And he's, he's doing a really good job. Uh, enemy Fujin is, or sorry, enemy Kamikaze is spotted. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and try to keep the smoke screen as much as possible. We do get a decent hit on the Kamikaze. Uh, would like to take him out as much as possible, or quickly as possible, better yet. Um, yeah, it's just once again, the Jinwei's guns are kind of lackluster, but we do get the kill. And all that's left on the enemy team is a very low health Jin Wei and a fairly full health uh, Julio Chesar. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can actually pull it back. Now, the uh, enemy Kamikaze is complaining about his team. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, we have essentially two AFK uh, ships right now. Now, I did point out the fact that there is the friendly Nicholas still alive and well, and 
he's going to play actually a fairly important part uh, in this battle, uh, as we will see in a little bit. Uh, I am going to start pushing south and hoping to kite this Julio. This Julio is at least trying to aim towards our friendly shot. So you and look at that. We get a fire on the Julio. And this is kind of how it's going to be playing. So at the moment we are at a deficit on points. Uh, we do have two caps to their one, so we should start be or should be able to start bringing it back. And this is how this battle is going to essentially end: is playing cat and mouse. One person spots, the other person smokes. Uh, so guns are landing, and uh, it's hit and miss. Uh, guns, as far as damage capability. Kind of lackluster, uh, to be perfectly honest. And it looks like the Julio is finally aiming at us. So we're going to try to take really big steps in the other direction. Waiting on my torpedoes to reload. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pop our own smoke stream. Now, I did mention that we do have a friendly destroyer uh, that is going to assist us. And that is that AFK destroyer. Uh, both me and the Shiratsu are both in the smoke screen. But the Hulu is actually being spotted by the friendly Nicholas that is AFK. So he is uh, actually helping us uh, whether he meant to or not. Uh, looks like the Shiatsu does get the Jin Wei. And that is, I believe, his fifth kill. And he earns Kraken at least. So very good job there. Uh, and now the battle essentially comes to... A a rather fun part. We just play cat and mouse. Shiatsu is gonna just keep distance. And yeah, see, this is one good thing that at least I found with the Jinwei is when it needs to, it can help carry. Um, it's not, once again, not the greatest ship as far as actually damage dealing. Um, not overly reliable with the torpedoes. Or with the guns uh, so things are looking good the rudder ship times nice as you saw there we did manage to dodge uh, some armor piercing rounds incoming from the Julio but now we're just gonna play the waiting game because we are in the lead uh, the Julio has to at least kill one of us as well as possibly start capping uh, but there is about two minutes left in this battle and all we're gonna have to do is just kind of Play the waiting game. Now, the Shiratsu probably should have capped A, but honestly, if the Julio starts capping B, we could easily just reset him because, once again, the Jin Wei's smokescreen is actually uh, available, and we can, as soon as we are in a good position, start smoking as we are. And, yeah, this is, this is where the good... Fun bit is, uh, the Shiratsuyu is spotting the Julio, while I am currently going to just farm damage as well as farm defended base caps. That is one, and we're going to earn quite a bit because this Julio is going to be trying to cap almost the last bit of this battle. So we're going to get some good experience, and this is actually a really good idea. If you need experience or money, Try to get defended base caps because you do get a bonus whenever you reset a cap. So definitely a huge bonus here. Uh, getting, racking up that uh, base caps as quickly as possible. And now the Julio is pushing in, uh, which is at least what I'm hoping for is a possibility of getting torpedoes off. But I don't think that's going to be the case. We are getting a fire. So that is very, very nice. But our smoke screen is going to start dissipating. And we do have to be extremely careful. And here I kind of... Oh, I got a little, a little greedy. Now keep in mind, the Jinwei has a 6 kilometer range. And that Julio is now within that 5.7. So trying to get the midline tor torpedoes off uh, was a very foolish tactic. Because now we are spotted... Uh, at least for a little bit, and he does alter course. And, well, fortunately, we are able to pull away, and we're going to try smoking again. Now, there's only 25 seconds left on this uh, battle. Um, and within five seconds, we should have another smoke screen, and we should be able to sit and camp. Now, not the greatest uh, high damaging game, but fairly close all the same. Uh, Could have easily swung the other way, but... High props to the uh, friendly Shiratsuyu. 
captain. He did a really fantastic job. And with that, that is going to be the end of the battle. Hello everyone, welcome back to the port, and Jinwei is, I, in my honest opinion, kind of a letdown from the Shenyang. I mean, she isn't particularly great at anything, um, as you will see, especially once you get her fully upgraded, but let's take a look at the stock version of the Jinwei. Hit points, 10,600. All right, very similar to the Shenyang. Uh, main battery guns, you have five single 120 millimeters. They have a eight second reload time, eight seconds. Uh, their turn time on the guns is 14.4. They have a max damage of 1700 with HE and an 8% fire chance, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, AP damage is 2100 and they have a 9.9 .9 kilometer range. The only really downside compared to the Shenyang is the velocity on the shells is 814 versus, I think it was like 900 and almost 40 uh, meters per second. So definitely a little bit more difficult to get your shells to land target. They don't generally, especially when playing her, uh, they do seem to have a very lofty airtime, especially if you are shooting a target a little bit a ways away. So do have to be keeping that in mind. Kind of almost like a USN destroyer has. Uh, torpedoes aren't the greatest in the world. They do have a 66 second reload time. They will do 11,733. Uh, but once again, they have a very limited range, 6.4 kilometers. Um, very similar to the Shenyang, but the Shenyang had a concealment of 5.7. Jin Wei, uh, with Captain Perk, has a detection of 6 kilometers. So you only have around 400 meters to get your torpedoes off and almost relies on torpedoing a ship that does push in towards you. So it's not the greatest, definitely not the greatest gunboat, not the greatest torpedo boat, uh, especially compared to the other tier 5 destroyers. Definitely not the greatest. Um, I, I will have to say deep water torpedoes are nice because they are quick. They do have a 64 knot speed, which does make them very quick in the water. Um, and they do have a decently low detection uh, that does uh, surprise some ships. But the only downside, these are lower class tier ships. And they generally are a little bit more maneuverable than higher tier class battleships, especially. Uh, AA defense is... Well, there's hardly any. You have two single 40 millimeters. They have an average damage of 11 with a 2.5 kilometer range. Not the greatest in the world. Uh, maneuverability is nice. The speed on the Jinwei is 37 knots. It does have a nice turning circle radius of 540 meters. Rudder ship time is decent. Uh, 4.5 seconds. Not the greatest. Uh, concealment is, once again, 6 kilometers by sea, 2.9 by air, and firing within a smoke screen is 2.4 kilometers. So, really, really comes down to the fact that your concealment's not the greatest. Uh, you can't really get those torpedoes off at a more safer distance. You really do have to play, um, almost like a USN destroyers, but your guns aren't the greatest. So, yeah, kind of lackluster. Um, upgrades, the usual for my destroyers. And once again, you have a very nice uh, smoke generator. Once again, very similar to how the Shenyang was. Uh, this stays the same all the way up to the tier 10, I believe. Uh, the smoke screen is active for 70 seconds. Does... Uh, the smoke screen does run for 30 seconds so for the most part you'll almost always have a smoke screen almost ready for the next time you need it very handy to have uh captain hasn't really changed um really probably need to work on him especially if i want to get him to a 19 point captain before the tier 10 um this is gonna take a lot of commander xp just to get him boosted up uh but we'll see how things progress but anyways this is gonna be it for this episode of world of warships thank you guys so much for watching if you like what you saw hit the like and subscribe button you guys have a great and fantastic day zaijin